How's it going guys? Today we're going to do a quick review of the third generation of the HLG 100 line, which is the HLG 100 R spec. The HLG 100 R spec is rated to flower a 2 foot by 2 foot space and veg a 3 by 3. The board consists of 172 Samsung LM301H diodes in a mix of 3000K and 5000K, as well as 4 LM351H V2 deep red diodes. Total output in the photosynthetic range was tested by Light Laboratory Inc. at 220 micromoles per second, and the power draw was tested at a little over 91 watts, resulting in a system efficacy of 2.41 micromoles per joule. In the kit, you get the LED board, a Meanwell OWA90U driver, some hangers, and a pair of nuts and bolts, as well as an adhesive pad to secure the driver to the board. Assembly only takes a couple minutes, it's just a matter of sticking the driver to the board, fastening it down with the nuts and bolts, and then attaching the hangers. After running mine for an hour to warm up, this light was drawing 90.6 watts from the wall, and the back of the board and the driver measured about 49 degrees Celsius. I ran this light through my automated PPFD testing system, which consists of an Apogee SQ500 quantum sensor on a custom gantry, and came up with PPFD readings for hang heights of 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18 inches from the surface of the light down to the surface of the sensor. I'll show you all my data first and then we'll chat about it after. So here goes, we'll start with the 18 inch hang height. All right, so the thing that usually influences my hanging height recommendation most for a board style light is the coverage uniformity. To calculate uniformity, I'm taking the minimum PPFD reading at a given height divided by the maximum PPFD reading at that height, which gives you a value between zero and one. In my opinion, a good target for the minimum uniformity across your grow space would be 0.5. So this would mean that the lowest reading in the space would be no less than half of the maximum reading. And the height at which this occurs for this light is 12 inches, where the maximum is 707 micromoles per meter squared per second in the center, and the minimum is 352 in one of the corners. A 12 inch hang height for the HLG 100 R spec provides an average PPFD of 510 across the 2x2 space, which isn't a crazy amount, but it'll certainly get the job done. And, and this is for flowering, of course, so if you're vegging with this light, you're going to want to run it considerably higher, somewhere around 22 inches or 24 inches. So there you have it. This this is the entry level light from Horticulture Lighting Group for a 2 foot by 2 foot space and it'll do a fine job as a full cycle light. If you're looking to bump PPFD up to the next level for your 2x2 two two, then you'll probably want to instead check out the 135 watt quantum board kit from HLG which will give you a pretty significant jump in output at the cost of added price and a little bit more work to build the thing. PPFD results for the HLG 100 R spec are nearly identical to the Spider Farmer SF 1000 that I tested, though this was prior to my motorized PPFD rig, so I don't have nearly as many data points to compare. But I think 2x2 grow lights are very competitive since there are a lot of options out there and they're pretty much all 100 watt lamps that will hit about the same PPFD. So my advice is to consider the components the lights use as well as the reputation of the company selling it. The HLG 100 R spec uses a Meanwell driver and Samsung LM301H diodes which are the best in the biz. And when it comes to support I think most people will agree that Horticulture Lighting Group is second to none. Thanks for watching as always, and if you're into LED grow lights and DIY garden automation, then do me a solid and please consider subscribing to see more content like this, and I'll see you on the next one.